And our first guest this week is joining us via satellite from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Dr. Pierce Carson. He's the CEO of Santa Fe Gold Corporation, stock symbols SFEG. Uh, Pierce, good to have you on the program. It's a pleasure to be here, Don. It's, uh, it's great to have the opportunity to uh, uh, have your show help tell our story. Well, let's talk about the story. Now, Santa Fe Gold Corporation describes itself as a U.S.-based mining and exploration enterprise. You're focused on acquiring and developing gold, silver, copper, and industrial metal properties. Can you give us a general overview, please? Yes, Santa Fe Gold is uh, based in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We have two precious metal properties, <coughs> both located in the state here. Uh, the first, which is just going into production now, it's called a Summit Silver Gold Project. It's in the southwestern part of the state. The other project is the Ortiz Gold Project in the north central part of the state. Between them, these two deposits have drill indicated resources of over two million ounces. Um, we're, a, we're a small, a relatively small group here as far as our management goes, uh, but we're highly experienced. Uh, many times our people have taken projects all the way from exploration through development and then operations. Uh, currently we employ about 32 people. As production at Summit uh, ramps up, that'll be increased to about 48. Our overall business strategy here at Santa Fe Gold is to use the cash flow from Summit to develop the Ortiz project and then to continue to acquire and uh, put into production other gold silver projects. At the appropriate time, we may also be interested in looking at mergers or joint ventures with other companies in order to create additional shareholder value. Now the properties that you control are concentrated in New Mexico, as you mentioned, and also Arizona. Can you tell us a little bit about the precious metals and mineral, minerals industry in that part of the country? Sure. Uh, New Mexico and Arizona, I guess, are probably best known for the large copper deposits that exist here. And there, there, there are many, many large open pit copper deposits. Historically, uh, the area also produced a lot of gold and silver. Our Ortiz project, for example, uh, was about the earliest um, uh, gold deposit uh, discovered west of the Mississippi. So this area has, has had a lot of precious metals as well as base metal production. Now, of course, you're in a very capital-intensive industry sector, but that is not your problem. You announced earlier this year that you've entered into agreements to raise $10 million dollars uh, through a registered direct offering uh, for a growing company, having that amount of capital behind you must enable you to accelerate your acquisition and growth plans. Yes, we were very pleased to have raised that, uh, that $10 million. That was just recently, a couple of months ago in January. And uh, it's going to enable us to do a number of things to really accelerate the growth of the company. Uh, first of all, we'll be able to add production uh, at the summit uh, property and to do exploration there uh, where we've got good up upside exploration potential to increase our resource base. Secondly, it will allow us to really get going on the Ortiz project to complete the technical work and to start the permitting process to push that project towards production. Thirdly, it will allow us to uh, start looking seriously at a number of acquisition opportunities that we've identified and that we need to follow through on. The company Santa Fe Gold Corporation, SFEG is a stock symbol and our toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. Pierce, let's talk about gold for a moment. Uh, analysts the world over are predicting continued uh, big moves upward in gold prices. They did that five years ago and they were right. Now, does the company have a strike price per ounce of gold that you know is profitable for you? Yes, we're fortunate in that both of our precious metal projects, our Summit project and our Ortiz project, are projected to have relatively low uh, operating uh, costs. The average uh, cost to produce an ounce of gold, I think, around the world now uh, is around $420, $430 an ounce. 
Our projects uh, are much lower cost than that. Summit will be somewhere around 300 to 350, and Ortiz below $300 an ounce. So uh, even though the gold price uh, is predicted to continue to go up, which it has done every year for the last uh, seven or eight years, uh, should it take some uh, uh, turn downwards, uh, we'll, we'll still be profitable at, at much lower gold prices. And I would think that many people watching may be curious about where a company like yours actually sells the gold, silver, and everything that you extract. Uh, how do you turn your production into actual revenue? Well, uh, if you take, for example, our, our uh, uh, summit property, the value of the ore in the ground is uh, two to three hundred dollars a ton. By the time we process that ore and it, it comes out as a concentrate from our uh, flotation plant in Lordsburg, it'll be worth uh, twenty or thirty thousand dollars a ton. And so what we'll do is we'll take that concentrate and we'll sell it to a smelter at least to start with. Down the road, we may want to leach that concentrate to produce a dore, which then would go directly to a refinery. So generally, uh, the sale of the product is, is uh, not a big issue. We're fortunate with our concentrate that it's a very clean concentrate, and uh, we're in discussions with a number of uh, smelters who have indicated an interest in, in purchasing that concentrate.